Welcome back to this game creator tutorial. Today, real quick, I'm going to show you how to skip your title screen. It's going to let you play test faster, get right in the game. With that said, let's get started. All right, so this method is assuming that you're using one of the template projects as your base, which I strongly recommend. You're going to go up to this icon right here, which is common events, and click on it, bring up the window. You're going to search for a common event called 14001 Start the Game. Now, this is going to bring you to a very common event RPG maker looking type event sheet. And this, that's exactly what it is. Matter of fact, if you double click on this arrow down here, this is where you would put the next event command. And you can see that they have a plethora of event commands, very similar to RPG Maker. But we're going to not do this because we want to do something specific. We want to skip the title. So we're going to find this show interface title. This is what's showing the menu. We're going to right click and click insert. We're going to go all the way down to systems and click on start. And that is going to start our game. Now, something else is going to happen by leaving all this logic here. But let's find out what happens by clicking OK and then going to playtest. And you can see that it did show the title for just a blip. So we want to get rid of that as well. So we're going to go to common events and we're going to start to right click these and click ban. Now, ban is just skipping this and we want to skip it because we might want it in the end. And so I'm just going to ban the rest of this logic here. We're going to click OK and playtest. And there we go. Now, one thing is, is if you notice that your objects aren't showing up, make sure that this preload all scene objects is selected. And also, if you are still finding that it's not exactly loading right, do note that there is a game progress. Nope, it's a logic wait. So you can also add a wait if you need to. You'd probably want to add it before starting the game, though. So you do something like this, insert, click on the wait right here, click OK, and then it's going to wait one frame which we would not want. So we can right click and edit and say 60, 60 frames equals a second. And so we're going to click OK, play test, and it should wait for a second and then show the game. And that would make sure everything's loaded and everything. And that's if you needed it. I'm actually going to get rid of this because it's loading just fine on my computer. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Like, subscribe if you want some more game creator content. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. And with that said, I will see you at the next video.